Hi, good morning all. Hope everybody is fine. Today we are going to study a new author. You might heard of him. His name is Charles Lamb. Charles Lamb, um, seventeen seventy-five to eighteen thirty-four, is almost better known as Elia. Uh, was the gentlest and most kindly of men. Born in London in 1775, uh, the son of a lawyer's clerk, he was well, if humbly educated, and spent an unexciting life as a clerk in the South Sea House. His private life was a life uh, was a sad one. He devoted himself to looking after his sister Mary who was subject to fits of insanity, in one of which uh, she stabbed her mother to death. So Ma Mary is the Bridget, the character of many of the essays. Something of the gentle pathos of their life will be found in the essays that we are going to learn, that is Dream Children, A Reverie. And as well as essays, Lamp wrote a little verse in the same gently pathetic strain and he and his sister who had also real literary ability collaborated in tales from Shakespeare retold for children. Um, it is impossible to represent Lamp um, adequately in a brief anthology but um, almost his um, style and techniques we learn in uh, his essay, Dream Children. There are many essays. So this is just an introduction of Charles Lamb. He is, as I said, English essayist, critic, poet and antiquarian. Antiquarian means somebody who studies antiques, collects it. He went to school at Christ Hospital where he studied until 1789. He was a, a near contemporary there of um, Coleridge and Leigh Hunt, such um, great authors or poets. And in 19, 1792, Lamb found employment as a clerk at East India House, the headquarters of East India Company remaining there until retirement in 1825. We are introducing, we are learning about his personal life because uh, his personal life comes uh, at a very larger length in his essays. And like I said before, 1796, Mary Lamb in a fit of madness killed their mother and he reacted with courage and loyalty that incident and he took the burden of looking after her all through his life uh, and he was a bachelor and um, so such a kind gentlest man he was and some of his notable works we are, um, are these Lamb's actual first appearance in print were as a poet with contributions to collections by Coleridge 1796 during 1796 and by Charles Lloyd 1798 and uh, this is the first work he published individually A Tale of Rosamond Gray it is a prose romance John Woodville, 1808, A Poetic Tragedy, The Old Familiar Faces, 1789, and this is uh, one of his best poems, mm, Tales from Shakespeare, retelling of the plays of children, Lamb and her sister, and his sister published Tales from Shakespeare, and they tried to um, portray this um, Victorian age and how this drama happened in a simple language 
and another work important work is mrs leicester's school 1809 these are stories um, collection of stories supposedly told by pupils of a school in hertfordshire where um, many of uh, great personalities many students studied from the school they um, they were facing cruel punishments uh, from the rector the uh, father who controlled the teachers there the principals there so such stories he tried to right and uh, specimens of english dramatic poets who lived about the time of shakespeare 1808 these are um uh, illustration how this english drama has been uh, seen and these are all critical works written by charles lamb um, so how they viewed shakespeare so he was interested in drama criticism poem uh, and uh, most uh, famous essays on the artificial comedy of the last century he portrays a restoration comedy and anticipates uh, uh, illustration era age and um, and the pace the assumptions of the aesthetic movement of the late 19th century so he looked back and he wrote about the past and he thought about the future and he wrote the present too so uh, his greatest achievements um are uh, remarkable letters that he wrote and uh, the essays he wrote under the pseudonym elia for london Mag- magazine first elia essays appeared in 1823 and the second series came in 1833 as um, the last essays of elia so uh, these are his notable works and talking about his essays there are many points that we are going to learn we are going to experience in uh, through dream children erery these are highly personal and mannered we can understand he is like talking about a story he is writing an essay and nobody did that before or after charles lamb a highly personal he talks about himself and he created the persona of elia elia is a pseudonym and elia is a character who lives as a character inside his essays and uh, all the function of his essays were to create that figure to establish that person elia so that we are going to witness in the essay that we are going to study his writings were simple but it was never plain it had its own techniques it has it, the very style of um, writing like the he will never end a sentence suddenly he uses so many comma colon semicolon and it goes on like that sometimes the whole paragraph he can write without stopping without uh, putting a, a full stop or a, it's it's a very peculiar kind of writing that we are going to witness through charles lamb and uh, he combines a humor sometimes with pathos so these are all like beautiful stories that i i i am really sure that you are going to enjoy and there are old acquaintances his um, relatives his friends those who are part of his life who come and goes in his essays 
and he loves the urban settings and the suburban subject matter and it resembles uh, that of Charles Dickens. So in that way um, he is told called as Charles Dickens uh, for his love for urban urbanity. And he recalls scenes from childhood and from later life. So it's a combination of um, childhood and later life uh, that um, we can only see in Charles Lamb. Indulge he in these writings, indulge the author's sense of playfulness and fancy. We can see fancy. The word reverie, like a dream, it's a, it's a fancy that we are going to study. And there is a playfulness. There are characters who were a part of his life. As much an expression of the romantic movement as the words of Coleridge and William Wordsworth, many a time we can see him as a romantic writer. He was a contemporary of romantic writers like Wordsworth and Coleridge who started this movement, romantic movement, and who he also associated um, um, in writing poetry with uh, Coleridge. So in his essays, we can find these elements of romanticism in many, um, in abundance. And that's it about him. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask me. The, he, this, like, this, this is a very simple uh, person, very kind human being. Charles Lamb, we are going to learn the next class next class will be um, about we'll start we'll start the text the essay um, dream children a reverie thank you for listening um take care we'll see you in the next class bye